previously on Imperion Galactic Survival. There we go. We have a cheetah speeder bike. Let's uh, get on our trusty cheetah right here and take a little exploration. We're in Polaris territory at the moment. There's a silicon deposit. Is that one in Polaris territory? I got a feeling there's a lot of silicon deposits in Tolar Polaris territory. Tolaris territory. The whole point of that was to try to find some silicone to gather that's not in Polaris or Talon territory. Unfortunately, it seems that all the silicon deposits that I could find are in either Polaris or Talon territory. I want to try to get Polaris friendly with me and then I want to start mining the silicon in their in their uh, territory. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the SOV into Polaris territory up here. And I'm going to start killing some things. We'll head to Polaris and start killing some creatures. <laughs> All right, we're inside Polaris territory now. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's gonna be any predators out during the day. It's gonna be a little while until it's night. Um, I'm gonna keep looking around, see if I can find some predators, but unfortunately, it does not appear that there are any here right now. Okay, here is a golem. I did not know they spawned during the day, but... Oh, it's dead. Okay. There's a little bit of silicone in that in itself. Um, it does not appear that, the, uh, that those count as predators. That is unfortunate. Golems don't count as predators. That's weird. Either that or the predator thing only apply. It doesn't apply to the ship. Let's see if... Okay, there's another golem there. Let's see. Let's see if this... Okay, it doesn't appear that golems count as predators for Polaris. Possibly at all. That is unfortunate. But I guess I either need to wait till night or try to find some of those uh, wandering alien arachnids that... Uh, have been around. Ooh, spider. That's definitely a predator. Yeah. That's a predator. Okay. So attacking inside the ship does work. It just, uh, it just requires not to be a golem. Spiders are are a predator, but golems. I'm wondering if golems are alien. That's right. Okay, okay. I got you now. I see what you're laying down. I'm pi or I'm picking up what you. I don't know. I don't. Know. I, I see what's going on here. So the golems. While golems are annoying. They are listed as alien and not predator, so. Okay. I think. I think these are listed as prey. 
But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them so that they don't attack me. Okay. Alright. Now, Polaris is up by 208 already just from two spiders? That's pretty good. Let's see if I can find any more spiders or anything like that. There's a spider and more golems. Come here, you little bugger. Up oh, here comes a golem. Level nine reached. And spider. Let's just make sure to get that all repaired. Anything that got damaged. Okay. Let's see if we can find some more spiders. There's another spider. All right, what are we at now? We are at 490 or 4900. So we went, we've gained 400 since we started. It's like close to a hundred per spider. It looks like, which means we need just a few more spiders. I don't think these things are counted as predator either. Is that a spider? No, I don't think that's a spider. There's another one. Oh, you want to do that, huh? So that should bring us up to uh, 5,028. That's weird. I guess that thing had different hit point levels than the other ones. Maybe it was a different level. Yay, more spiders. I'm gonna have a lot of food and stuff. Uh, what are we at now? 5124. Do so I need what? Eight more? Eight or nine more spiders, it looks like. I'm not really having any trouble finding them. They're, they're, they're occasional enemies. So. At least I didn't have to wait till it was night. That would have been annoying. I wonder. Um. Oh, I need a reputation of honored before I can do missions for him. Well,
Oh, that's that's a Fuller's Talon Xerax epic gift. So there's no individual missions for them. That's disappointing. But I understand why. Ooh, is that a spider right there? No, that's an eggplant. The reason why they don't have the missions activated for the Omicron Akua thing, from my understanding, is the fact that Omicron Akua is meant to be a multiplayer, uh, multiplayer map. And so they disabled the missions because a lot of them would be only completable by one or two, you know, by, by one player or faction uh, at the time, like for, uh, in the, for now, something like that. And so they're probably going to make their own Akua Omicron multiplayer missions and such uh, later on. But for now, I believe that they're just sticking with it for that reason. All right, so it's starting to get a bit darker. Uh, we got a little bit until it's dark. I'm going to start heading back east towards where my base is, and hopefully we'll run into a few uh, uh, Atiogs on the way once it gets dark. All right, so it's nighttime now. Let's head out into the dunes slash sand biome and see if I can find any Atyugs to kill while I'm still in Polaris territory. There's one. There's another one. This ought to get me good up there. All right. There we go. Let's see what that did. We are still neutral, but just barely. Okay, one more Atiog ought to do it. And I'm going to start heading towards home, towards the, uh, towards our base. Uh... That's a golem. There's one. Hi, Altyug. Yay, we are now friendly with Polaris. Okay. So what that means now is that I can actually do some mining in Polaris territory and grab some silicone. Um, I'm probably going to start with this one because it is, uh, the clo the furthest from their buildings. Um, and then there's another one over here that I might, uh, also want to go to, but for now I'm almost out of food. I've got plenty of food in here to cook up, got a bit of everything in here. So we're going to head on back to the base and we're going to figure out what to do next. All right, we're back at the base camp. So let's go ahead and park the SOV in its uh, lower down a bit. There we go. Park the SOV in its hangar uh, or whatever you call this thing and let's pop over here to our food because that's our biggest priority right now mm. all right let's throw this in here 
and let's go ahead cook all that up let's put what we can of these all in here all right so i think i figured out what i want to do and i hope that because it's a single player i can do it what i want to do i want to set up an arv cargo com uh, repository at the uh at one of the silicone sites now looking at this we've got one that one is 5.88 that one is 5.01 so i'll go to that one that one's going to be the closest one right now but what i'm going to do i'm going to take the uh cheetah out there to set up the repository once i uh once i have the stuff for it so i need 50 58 stone dust so this uses two stone dust and this uses one cement. So that's two stone dust there. So 58, 25, that's 58. Okay. Uh, copper ingots, 20, silicon ingots, 17. So that's 20 and then 17 and then iron is six so that's gonna be one two three and pop that on and we'll go ahead and get that making up and uh let's see i'm gonna want i'm gonna want to go ahead and put this down and put some more fuel in it go ahead and make up two more Okay, and I'm going to want to put some fuel in it and let it uh, make up some water and uh, other stuff, uh, water and oxygen, because uh, going out on the cheetah, the cheetah does not have oxygen in and of itself. And so when I'm out there, I'm going to want something other than just the emergency O2 to uh, be able to utilize. And I don't think you, can, you can't make the small... O2 bottles anymore you can only make these large ones so uh from that let's see once we get this done 29 what happened to the 30 wait 29 uh 58 is 29 yeah okay Duh. my brain's not doing math correctly so all right you're still on uh do you have you don't have any uh solar charge that's fine i don't care really uh let's go ahead and fill up with this and go ahead and eat some food and i'm probably going to take these other two cans with me uh when i go out to get uh when I go out to get silicone. Yeah, it's really hot here right now, so. Um, okay, ah, yes, we are almost done with all this. Let's go ahead and put this down here. And one more. Okay, so, repository. Stone dust, perfect, 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 perfect. Couldn't ask for better one second start production. There we go. We have our repository. So let's see you. We can fill up your tank. Okay. And we'll put the rest of this over in here. Okay, so now we can head out to this silicone deposit and it won't take us nearly as long to get there. Um, I am considering adding a uh, larger rear thruster to the SOV just so that it'll go a little bit faster than the 16 meters per second that it currently goes. If I could get it up to 30 or 40, I mean, it, it would be better than it is. It still wouldn't replace the uh, the cheetah here, 
but it would definitely uh, improve its value if it could move a little bit faster. Okay, so here is a crashed Titan front and there's a silicone deposit that's in Xerax territory. I could start mining it. It's also a medium one. So, but uh, the crashed Titan is, they have a new crashed Titan, as you can see, that actually looks like a crash. It looks really, really cool. Um, they've got the front, the mid, and the back like before, but uh, it, we're definitely going to want to take a look at these uh, later on uh, because they created a whole new Titan ship for this. We're still going to head over this way because we're going to put down the repository, and I don't want to put down the repository in Xerox territory. But, uh, but yeah, the crashed Titan... Uh, is definitely the, the 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 new MS Titan. I think they put in. I want to say Alpha ten point five is when they updated the Titan. I'm not positive about that. So, but we're definitely gonna want to take a look at the new MS Titan. Uh, maybe not. This recording session, but next recording session, once we have a small vessel, I get. Well, it might be a little bit before I have a small vessel, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out when we figure it out. Okay, so here we are at the silicon deposit. Okay. I don't know why it said you're no longer connected to a thing, but... uh. Does this have a... I didn't connect to it. I don't think it even has a... Yeah, it doesn't even have a... Uh, whatchamacallit. That's weird. But! The ARV Cargo Repository. Yeah, we can set it down. Single player, baby. Uh, we're going to sit it down right here. And uh, yes, I know, we just lost some with Polaris which means we're going to have to go and get friendly again with them. Um, but we only need just a little bit to do that. So I think I'm going to head out. That's weird. Um, I think I'm going to head out and see if I can find a enemy of some sort to kill. I've got weapons on me, so uh, let's see if we can find a... Uh, uh, I'm hoping to find just a spider because those are relatively easy to kill. Ah, there's an Atyag. Alright, let's see. Where are you, Atyag? Ati, where'd you go? There you went. Okay, now we should be friendly with them again. I forgot that spawning a base in their territory uh, reduces your thing. But we should be fine for mining ore now. Uh, let's take a look and see what the... Uh... Okay. So, right here... Now, we are within the re cargo repositories repository uh, range. So we've got 8,000 ore that we can mine right here. And you can access it right through in here to get it. You can access it from out here too a little bit. Yeah, like that. So uh, the repository is actually... Uh, 
if I'm not mistaken, it's a little bit longer deep than you see here, but this is a perfect little structure that you can spawn in. And now, I don't know why it keeps changing that, but now we should, let me double check. Okay, it says Polaris friendly, uh, mine or in Polaris territory, none if reputation is friendly or better. So we shouldn't, uh, shouldn't lose any reputation for mining this silicone. We'll see if that is correct. Yep, looks like mining silicone in Polaris territory when you're friendly does not reduce your reputation, which is great. Uh-oh. Drone. I hope that didn't take out anything necessary on my, uh, on my, uh, whatchamacallit. Okay. Yay, and I'm still within the range of it. Uh, let's see. I think it took just a little bit of damage, but I don't think, yeah, I don't think it took too much damage. A little bit here, a little bit there. I mean, it is steel rather than carbon composite, which the first uh, couple are. So, um, okay. Nice. Oh, don't want to fall in there. I mean, I do have a jetpack, but still. Um, all right, so I'm going to keep this mode activated so that uh, I can actually see when a drone is approaching. Uh-oh. Golem, go away. I mean, that's not exactly what I wanted, but hey, it'll work. <laughs> okay, I'm a little bit injured, but nothing a bandage can't take care of. Okay, I believe it's time to keep digging a hole. All right, a uh, little bit more right here. Okay, I believe that's all the silicone in this deposit, uh, let's go ahead and pop that off. And uh, yeah, that is all the silicone from that deposit. Now, let's see what we've got. We've got, let's see, can I put, I can put a little bit in there, little bit in there. And then just a little bit in here. All right, I think what I'm gonna do, if I put that back, and then if I put those, hmm. I think that's all I'm gonna be able to take back right now. Uh, let's go ahead and grab all these and then that. I'll leave this in here for now. And uh, we will uh, head back to the base and then we'll come back and get the stuff that we left behind. So let's see. Base is this direction.